Then she began this illuminating path. She said, "Feeling the spiritual sound, yeah. You need to be a mama's boy." And what I mean by this is not a young man that relies on his mom to tell him what to do and to coddle him and hold his hand. That's a boy. That's not a man. What I mean by being a mama's boy is you need to love and respect your mom and. This sounds so obvious and basic. It's it's the fourth commandment, honor thy father and thy mother. But in my experience, a lot of the young men that I've been around and I've seen interact with their mothers don't treat their mothers with the respect and love that they deserve. They don't, and it's truly sad. Your mom raised you from childhood. She fed you, she nursed you. She loves you very much, and to treat her with anything less than the respect that she deserves is an insult to her. A lot of the Catholic men that I've seen treat their mom as if she was their dad or if she was another man or a young guy, and that's not how you should be treating your mom. Your mom is a woman, and women are to be treated with tenderness not to be treated toughly as you would a guy with this tough love. That's not how you treat your mother. It's if you treat her with tenderness. You go out of your way to be kind and to love her, to do chores, to wash the dishes when she says so. You are soft, you have a soft side to you, not soft in the effeminate way, where you're easily, you're a pushover. You do whatever anyone tells you. You have no principles. That's not what I mean by soft in this sense. I mean, you have a soft side to you. You have a side that, that favors your mom. If your mom says, do this, you'll do it because you love her. Your mom's been through more life experience than you have. And just because she's not a man does not invalidate her life experience and her spiritual advice. A lot of the greatest saints in the Catholic church have been mama boys. Take Jesus, for example. At the wedding feast of Cana, Mary tells Jesus to turn the water into wine, and he listens to her. St. Augustine's another great example. Saint, uh, he was very close with St. Monica throughout his life, and she was a driving factor in his conversion. She continually prayed for him, and to be able to have the relationship that he had with his mother was truly amazing, it was truly deep. They were able to talk deeply with and about God and to grow in this love for each other through their love for God. Having a mother and treating her right enables you to be a tender man, it enables you to not only treat others with this compassion and empathy that your mother bestowed on you, but it, it gives a whole different view to the spiritual life as well. Because men and women view the spiritual life and the, the road to God differently. As a man, we often view the spiritual life as this, this cross, this, this burden we have to bear. We have to tough it out with the Lord, you know. It's going to suck, but we got to embrace the suck. And that's, that's the manly view on Christian spirituality, Catholic spirituality. But... For women, it's, it's a little different than that. They they tend to tap more into the loving side that the Catholic faith has to offer. And it's this love that is unconditional. It's loving people that talk bad behind their backs. It's loving their children when they're not treated with respect. It's, and that's just combined with true humility as well. It's, beautiful it's beautiful just the way that mothers do this it's it's a lowering of themselves so that they can love you better even if you don't show them love we as men take that for granted that we are able to not only gather life experience from our moms but gather spiritual experience from our moms the new testament the whole point of the new testament is the circumcision of the heart it's completing the law with love because without love, we have nothing. And our mothers teach us that, and they embody 
this love which ought to permeate our event, our every action and everything we do in life. And if you truly want to be holy and be a good man, you can't just be tough. You have to be tender. It has to be a tender side to you. There are moments in life when you do need to be tough. You need to tough it out. Say, I'm going to carry this cross no matter what. Jesus is going to help me and tough it out. And sometimes that toughness can lend itself to pride too, thinking that, oh, I can just tough it up. I'm going to embrace all the suffering and I don't need Jesus that much. Or I, you think you need him less than you do. And that can be very dangerous for the spiritual life. We need to realize that our mother's perspectives and, and their love for us is something that we can take for the rest of our lives. Being a mama's boy is something that will truly transform your life. It lends itself to the spiritual life, but also to just treating women with respect as well and treating your future girlfriend, your future wife, or your, your present girlfriend and present wife with, um, with love and respect, you know, with the love and the respect that they deserve because just because they're different, have a different view doesn't mean that is something that we shouldn't embrace. Their viewpoint on life is something that we need to cherish. And by treating your mother properly, you are able to treat the woman in your life better. You're able to be tender with them, to love them, to caress them, to do the things that are necessary to be a good husband, to be a good boyfriend, to be a good brother, you know, to uplift your sister when she's down. It's to have this tender side to you that you develop from being a mama's boy, from being respectful toward your mom, to listening to your mom. And it's something that we ought to value and cherish. Being a mama's boy is not being weak. It's not being effeminate. It's, it's being tender and it's embodying the spirit of love that the New Testament and Jesus sought to bring to the world. That is what being a mama's boy is all about. So if you take anything away from this video, love your mom. May God bless you and have a great day. And subscribe to my channel. In the name of Patrice, Elite Spiritus Son.